Hey guys, it's Athena. I got inspired today by Hazel Autumn Wood's most recent video that she just posted. She's calling it the 12 days of Yule and she's going to try to put out 12 videos. Uh, today is the, might be the 12th, which would be about perfect. Uh, it's Sunday, is today the 12th? I don't know. Anyway, and if I could record a few videos today and then release them day by day, then maybe I could jump on board. What I did, uh, I commented on Hazel's video, and uh, by the way, I will link her video below. And I said, I would love to do this, but I absolutely positively cannot do this. I just can't commit to this and I'm not gonna do it. So I'm doing it. Keep expectations low. If I can't follow through, I can just squeak by and, and put, put a few little videos out there. Uh, the goal would be to do one each day from now to, I guess it would be Christmas Eve. So 12 videos. I'm going to try to record several right now and then just release them one at a time. This was a video request from Macrocosmic, and I told them I would try to get around to it this weekend. Here you go. You'll be my first official um, 12 Days of Yule video episode. She, I believe it was a she, if not, I apologize. Macrocosmic requested that I do a little review of the Leonie Dawson planner. I know there's a plethora of these out there, so I will attempt to keep it short. Uh, this is just my second year purchasing one. Last year I bought mine through Arwen Lynch's link and got a free three card reading, which was awesome. Thank you, Arwen. Pretty sure she's doing that again this year. If you want to help a sister out, jump on there and buy it through Arwen's link. Last year I bought the Shining Life little bundle and it came with the planner it came with like the little daily diary planner. And then it came with a shining year calendar. This year I decided that I didn't really need this because this is just way too much commitment for me. I am so not an everyday person when it comes to planning stuff out. I know that's how you accomplish things. I recognize that. I also recognize with my personality. I, uh, it's just, I didn't, I didn't do it. I tried. I used a few pages, but I knew I could save about 20 bucks or so and not use this one. So I just bought the planner and I was thrilled that the 2017 wall calendar was, was included. So thanks, Leon. And I can show you a little bit of this one because it can, I know it's useful and I, and I've tried. I really did try. What's nice about it is for January last year. This magical week of January, it has, I want to feel, I want to receive, and I want to give myself. And then um, a to-do list for work, your personal to-do list, something you're grateful for, which I am a huge fan of a gratitude journal, and I'm gonna share mine in a moment. And then a little list of things. So you can see I used it. I used it for a while, like every day for a while. We had lots of snow that week. That was kind of awesome. Oh, Amy Palmer book, holy crap. If you guys have not read, or even the best is the audible version because she sings in it. If you haven't read or listened to, is it The Gift of Asking? Something about asking. Awesome. And that just gave me an idea. I think I'm going to do some kind of year in review, maybe a few year in review videos, and one of them being the best books that I read or listened to this year. That's my neighbor. Did you hear that? Sweet little family across the street. Got a little two-year-old. This dad, cute dude, military guy. He has two old cars and they both do that and usually around 6 30 every morning he does that right when I'm sitting right in front of the window with my eyes closed and the candle going meditating and then I'm like <laughs> so 
Another nice thing about this is then when you end your month, super shining end of a month celebration. What dreams and goals came true? <laughs> what sucked the big one? What do you need to rant about to feel better? That's awesome. What lessons did you learn? Um, what are you immensely grateful for? Hmm. Look at some of this. Look at that one. What lessons did you learn? Alcohol, alcohol still has me by the throat. I only had four or five dry days of the whole month of January. Snow days. I had two extra weeks off. Ooh, I hope that happens again. Check in for the next month, what you want to focus on. I never use the money pages. I just don't. And then this past year's planner. That's the main thing I wanted to talk to you about. Here's what's so neat about these planners. I've never done this until this past year. They, she called it the very important closing ceremony. And how cool is that to have closure, to do some serious reflecting, what went well, what didn't, what do you need to release, what do you need to celebrate? And so I, t you know, I took these very seriously. Uh, when you look back, what do you immediately think of? What dreams came true? What beautiful lessons did you learn? The next page. Even though it was really hard to go through, I know I learned a lot from. I let go of, I'm happy because of, the incredible thing I learned about myself. It's so good. I've never done this before. And I'm a big time journaler. What were the areas that fell out of whack, hard to follow, or crazy making in 2015? What could be done to change them? Okay, so that one I was reasonable with, but then, whew, <laughs> she lets you rant. What do you need to write, journal, rant about, express in order for you to feel clear about 2015? Yeah, there was a lot I wasn't happy about. One of my favorite things, again, I've never done this before, is 100 things to do in 2016. The last time I counted, which was in October, I had done 43, which isn't a lot. But like I said, some of them are kind of big. And a few of them I need to, I need to go through it again and, and double check. I pulled this out and like at least monthly and I would mark through things. Or I would put this, this coming year, I'm going to do it a little differently where I have tally marks. Like every time I do such and such, put a tally. A little oracle reading for the year. You do that on, I did mine on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. Yeah, I did a little ceremony. And you pull one for each each month. I don't love doing things for the whole year on one day. Um, I think I would rather do maybe six months and then halfway through pull them for the rest of the month, rest of the year. I also included my animals. So I always like to have an animal for the season, as I've already mentioned. So my winter animal, that one I pulled as a card. My spring animal. Um, and then Fox, you heard about that for summer. Anyway, let's move on. I'm skipping this this year uh, because I didn't use it and I hate to waste something. But also because I used this. I showed this for the first time on my first pilgrimage video, which I put out at the beginning of August. On August 1st, I started using this. That's a very interesting book, by the way. I definitely recommend that book. But this is just a gratitude journal, and it covers three years. I can show you the beginning, because like I didn't start it until August, so all these are clean from the beginning of the year. But you just, each, each day, you only have that much room to jot down some things that you appreciate or that went well. I write in mine just about every day. I've only missed a couple days. Or a few days but uh, I'll write about dreams I'll write about you know even on the worst day I can write about something good that happened because I have this hanging up in my classroom this little quote and I fully fully believe it and it said every day may not be good but there is something good in every day and there is <laughs> There is. If you are breathing, if you have a bed to sleep in at night, then you have some good things in your life, okay? Even if the worst thing possible has ever happened to you, if you are able to eat, if you have any person, you know, then there is good. 
there is some good. Here's the 2017 one. Automatically, I noticed some differences this year. One difference I noticed was the paper. At first, I wasn't sure I liked it. I mean, it looks the same, but it's last year it was glossy, and this year it's more like regular paper. But actually, I, I do like this better than the glossy. The glossy paper smears. Ink smears very easily on it, and I don't think if you wanted to write with pencil, it would be as easy because it's just kind of glossy. This is regular, more regular paper, and that's good. The other thing I noticed that I wasn't a huge fan of, but I just took care of it. It wasn't a problem. There were so, so many pages of um, ads, you know, like people telling how wonderful her taking like signing up for her really expensive courses are and they're life changing and I get that um that's cool it just felt kind of weird to me I didn't notice it last year I don't know if it I just didn't care but I always rip those pages out anyway just like when I used to get magazines which I haven't taken magazines in years but when I used to the first thing I would do is pull out all those stupid little cardboard cards that stick in, in the middle of it because I don't and just discard those I hate those so there were tons of pages. I, I tore out 10 to 12 pages, I think. That might be an exaggeration. Of ads for or of praise and of people um, talking about how awesome their life is now that they're signed up for this really expensive course. Mm, again, she's Leonie Dawson is super successful. She's doing something right. So she knows what she's doing. Um, and if you don't like it, you can do like me and just rip it out. I just ripped them all out. So now it's more like, because this is my book. Like, I've bought it, and now I want it to be my thing. I don't want it to be all about Leonie Dawson or her, her business. Um, so that's probably the only negative. Here's an example of one I didn't tear out because I liked what was on the back. But just pages and pages of this stuff. I don't mean to be negative. <laughs> I just don't. I don't like it. But the other side had table of contents, so I'm not going to rip out the table of contents. I don't remember. Maybe it did have table of contents last time. This year also, I haven't put them in yet. I bought tabs. I bought, bought little tabs so I can put them on the side because it was hard to find certain pages. I always was returning back to the 100 things pages. And in my previous one, I just had... I guess I pulled them out. I just had sticky notes sticking out. And I bought nicer tabs this year that just stick. So that'll be nice. One other strange thing this year is some of the stuff I feel like should be a double page spread where it isn't. Um, and again, who cares? It doesn't really matter. But it almost feels like when they made it, it started on the wrong page. <laughs> and maybe, who knows? Like, for instance, I feel like this should be here. You know, like, here's a new chapter. And, uh, like, these are good. These two look like they go together. So here, it's more like, I feel like it should be. Like, this is the opening. Okay. And then you turn it, a bunch more ads. Um, and then this opens up the notes. I'll probably tear this out because part of me wouldn't mind. I mean, I don't really want people's faces in here. But then also, this could be nice if it's framed. You know, I could or take it to school. What if you make 2017 your most amazing year yet? Hey, right. you ever thought of that? Uh, notes. So I like this. I like how I like how this is. This is one last year that was side by side, where. This is how my body feels right now, and this is how my, how I want my body to feel this year. And they were side by side. These are these are fine. Yeah. So that sounded. I'm sorry if that sounded kind of critical because it's not going to keep me from buying again. I really like these books very much, and if I enjoy this one this year as much as I did last year, um, that's exciting. This. I'm going to try to do a really quick little quick run through it so you can kind of see and just a flip through and see what's in there you know I might skip some of the pages but um, this one put your name I, I put Athena Beth because and there's some ads happy customers uh, so I'll just go slow and I'll be quiet and you can enjoy Oh, you 
sure how I'll edit that out to make it less boring. Um, some groovy music and maybe some fast forwarding and maybe some skipping. So you may have noticed I've begun my 100 things to do in 2017. I'm so excited. Yeah. So I have gotten about 25 things. This year, this new year, I am putting tallies instead of saying, <sighs> Do five pages in my book of shadows. I'm not doing that. I'm saying things like work in book of shadows, tallies, and then I'll tally every time I do it. That way I'm not limited by um, what I wrote down. I know this past year I was, I was saying like do one page of this, do five pages, do ten pages, and that counted as three different goals. It would be automatically two goals I didn't meet if I um, only did it four times, you know. I'm picking better things. Last year I was just trying to fill it up. I put things on there that I didn't have really any intention of doing, but I was like, well, you know, I think we'll go rollerblading was one because that sounds fun. I've never done it before. I never did it. I use at least five or six of them uh, up on saying meet these certain people and I only met one of them. <laughs> so that's another reason I didn't uh, accomplish all of these goals or a larger number is because I used seriously about six of them on people I was going to meet. Um, so I think instead of doing that, that can count as one, you know, meet some YouTube witches. Or if I want some specifics, I can list them as one and then I can just check them off as I do it. And usually I write the date when I accomplish something. So there's my review. Um, a little disjointed a lot long as usual and thank you for the request I agree with what other people have said about Leone Dawson is very um, hippy dippy but so am I I I mean her art and her her vibe is way up my alley um, I'm 
I can see why most men wouldn't be interested in this because um, it's very female based. It's very woman based. So I get that. I also can see why someone who's not into cutesy, colorful, hippy dippy might not like it as much. And I respect that. If this is your kind of flavor, then you'll probably really enjoy it. I have every intention of continuing on using this, the big life planner book forward each year. I, it's a reasonable price. I feel like um, maybe 30 something dollars. If I, if you just get that one and it came with the, the calendar, I didn't order that extra, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you maybe tomorrow on my next 12 days of Yule. Bye guys. Peace.